This is the Mesenteric Order of Gamers. Quick tip. Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. This is just a very quick video to show you something I've been meaning to make for a long, long time. And that's some custom card racks for War of the Ring. We know these large cards uh, can sometimes tip over if you're using a normal card stand. I've been using the ones out of Memoir 44 for a long time. But every time you breathe, everything would flip over and show your opponent all the cards you have. It was not a good solution. So I finally got around to making my own one. And the trick behind this one is that it's weighted down. So this is the bottom piece without the backing piece, which I've just attached. And you can see I've attached four of these metal plates. Now these are the kind of plates you get with screws so you can um, attach things together. You can buy these in packs and they're quite weighty. They're made of metal, which is about a millimeter thick. And of course, four of those on a strip weighs it down quite nicely. Now this bottom strip is 450 millimeters long by 30 millimeters wide and of course I'm using five millimeter thick foam core. Then I've got this small strip here which is about a centimeter high and I've just glued that very carefully and neatly along here. I carefully measured the distance from here to where I started uh, putting down the strip with dice, War of the Ring dice. So as you can see I can place my dice when I roll them along the front edge of the strip quite neatly. So I put dice there, made a little mark with a knife there, and I did that, made a few marks along the whole length of it so I could put this down carefully, lining up with those marks. And I got this very neat base piece. The next trick was to make this backing piece. This piece is 90 millimeters high. I cut that square to start with and then I made a diagonal cut along one edge. You can see there. Make sure you've got a very sharp knife for this so you don't roughen up the foam core in any way. But do about that angle on there. And then I, I just glued it at the back there, um, right up against this lip piece. Now the question is of course, will that be strong enough? It's just glued with white glue as usual. I think it will because the cards themselves are very, very light and they're not going to put too much pressure on that backing piece. I did think of one way of reinforcing this a little bit more and that's to put some pins through these holes. You can see because these plates have holes in them I can just line up the edge of that hole with that back angle. If I stick a little pin through there that should give it a little bit extra strength. There we go. I've carefully put in those pins at the same angle as the backing board and that should reinforce it quite nicely. And an unexpected advantage of having those metal plates with holes in them. This is called in the craft world making it up as you go along. So there it is with six sleeved cards in it and that is a vast improvement over the stands I was using before. Now it's still got a slight rock on it I've noticed. If I actually bump that it could tip over and I think that's because of the thickness of the weights at the bottom there there's a little tipping point. So I may actually, at the back here, put a, another thin piece of cardboard, black cardboard under, under here, just to stop that little tip. But this is version one of this. At the moment that's working pretty well and the weight should stop it from tipping too much. That's it folks. If you have any other suggestions for improving this card stand or any card stand ideas of your own, do let me know in the comments and we can chat about it. Thanks very much for watching. Esoteric Order of Gamers, orderofgamers.com and I hope this tip brings a little bit more enjoyment to your next game of the excellent War of the Ring.